Hello my friends, you welcome to solve this math problem, which is x root of 36 plus x root of 24 is equal to x root of 16 to find the values of x. In the first step, we divide both sides of this equation by x root of 16. So it will be x root of 36 over x root of 16 plus x root of 24 over x root of 16 is equal to x root of 16 over x root of 16. And here, this will cancel this, so this is equal to 1. And in here, we can write this as x root of 36 over 16 and plus x root of 24 over 16 is equal to this is x root is equal to 1 and here we can write the 36 as 6 to power of 2 right x root of 6 to power of 2 over this 16 as 4 to power of 2 plus x root of 24 by 8 it will be 3 and this by 8 it will be 2 so it will be 3 over 2 is equal to 1 and here we can write this as x root of 6 over 4 to power of 2 and plus x root of 3 over 2 is equal to 1. And here this divided by 2 is 3 and this divided by 2 is 2. So we can write x root of 3 over 2 to power of 2 plus x root of 3 over 2 is equal to 1. And we can write this as 3 over 2 to the power of 2 and to the power of this x root as 1 over x. Also in here, 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1. And from exponential rule, if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, we can write this as a to the power of n to the power of m. We can exchange these powers together. So, in here, we can write this as 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x and to the power of 2 and plus 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1. Our next step, we let 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x as t. So, in here, this is equal to t square, right? t square plus t is equal to 1. Our next step, we take this one to this side, so it will be t square plus t minus 1 is equal to 0. And here, we use quadratic formula, which is t is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And a is coefficient of t square is 1. And b is coefficient of t is 1. And c is constant is negative 1. So, t is equal to negative b, negative 1, plus or minus square root of b square, 1 square is 1, minus 
4 times a, a is 1. 4 times 1 is 4, and times negative 1 is negative 4. So, negative negative 4 is positive 4. Over 2a, 2a is 2. And this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So, from here, we find two value for t. t is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and t is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. And from here, recall this. 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x is equal to t. So we write in here, 3 over 2 power of 1 over x is equal to t. So, in here, 3 over 2 is positive, and to power of 1 over x, uh, it will be positive number. So, this is positive, so this part should be a positive. So, in here, t should be a positive number. But in here, negative 1 minus a sort of 5 over 2 is less than 0, so we reject this answer for t. And we continue by this. So, in here, t is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x. So, 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x. And t is this. So, we write negative 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x. And next step, we apply log of base 3 over 2 to both sides of this equation. So it will be log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 to base 3 over 2 is equal to log of 3 over 2 to the power of 1 over x to base 3 over 2. And in here, from log rules, if we have a log of a to the power of b to base c, we can write this as b times log of a to base b to base c. So, we can take this b, this power of b, outside of this log. So, we can write this here, log of negative 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2 to base 3 over 2 is equal to, and here, we use this formula, we can take this power of 1 over x outside of the log, so it will be 1 over x times log of 3 over 2 to base 3 over 2. And this is equal to 1, right? Log of a to base a is equal to 1. So this is equal to 1, and it will be log of negative 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2 to base 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over x. And here we can write this log of this over 1, right? Over 1. And in here we reverse numerator and denominator together to both sides of this equation, so it will be from here 1 over log of negative 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2 to base 3 over 2 is equal to, and we reverse this, so it will be x. And from log rules, if we have 1 over log of a to base b, we can write this as log of b to base a. Right? 1 over a to base b is equal to log of b to base a. In here, we change uh, base, in here is b, and in here is a. So, 
we can write this as x is equal to log of we take this part to base log of and this 3 over 2 to base negative 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2 and this is our final answer x is equal to log of 3 over 2 to base negative 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2 thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video goodbye